Thank you for watching this Deer Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the integration between Deer Inventory and your Shopify online store. Start by navigating to the integration module and then selecting Shopify. If you have more than one store connected, the overview screen is a great tool to showcase the big picture and view sell performance of all stores. Or you can simply select the individual stores on the left to see their specific figures. To connect one or more of your Shopify stores to Deer, simply click the plus sign. Here you'll be required to enter the name of your store before selecting Connect to Shopify. You'll then be taken to the Shopify login page where you'll need to enter your credentials for the connection to be established. You can add as many shops as you'd like to a single Deer account. Just repeat the process for the rest of your stores. Now let's take a look at the compulsory settings for your Shopify store. Noting that further explanations and details of these settings can be found in the Deer Knowledge Base. Let's take a look at the general settings. Here you can select when an order is going to be captured in Deer Inventory. It can be when it's created, paid, or fulfilled in Shopify. These settings are also taken into account when downloads of historical orders from Shopify are triggered. You can then choose to consolidate orders. For example, if you have a large number of orders going through in a single day, you can consolidate those into one single order in Deer. If you do choose the daily consolidation option, you'll need to specify the consolidation time in your local time zone. Whether you choose to consolidate or not, you'll have to select a generic customer. In certain situations, customer information will not be provided in Shopify. For example, when Shopify point of sale is used, no customer information is provided. In these scenarios, Deer will instead associate the sale to the generic customer selected here. Deer will also use the same customer to associate all consolidated sales against. Deer also allows you to automate some of the fulfillment process, so your pick, pack and ship stages of the sales process can be streamlined. By selecting the fulfillment stage you wish the Shopify order to be loaded into Deer with, you're able to ensure your internal business process is best matched. Note that if there's not enough stock on hand to pick the full quantities of the product in the order, then pick will remain in the draft state. This will mean that the sale will not be able to continue to pack or ship until the stock shortage is resolved as normal. Also note that Deer does not import shipment information from Shopify if auto ship is selected and will not create fulfillment in Shopify in the same scenario. Process auto assembly settings applies when products with an assembly bill of materials and auto assembly is enabled are sold via the Shopify store. This drop down field has two options, for ordered quantity and for minimum quantity required for picking, meaning that Deer will either only produce an assembly for the required units based on its existing stock on hand, or instead it will assemble the full quantity of the Shopify order regardless of the previously assembled stock. Moving on to the account and cash settings. The invoice created by Deer when Shopify orders come through can either be draft or authorized. If you want to have no manual involvement with completing Shopify orders in Deer, it might be suitable for you to have the invoice set to authorize and your pick, pack and ship process set to automatic. This means the order and its cogs will be ready to sync with your accounting application without any further steps. You can also list products as draft in Shopify so that you can list products from Deer and finalize the look and feel of their listing from Shopify directly. Via the Update Stock Levels in Shopify option, you can sync all stock level changes from Deer to Shopify. This is an optional feature and especially useful if you're selling across multiple sales channels and want to ensure quantities are kept in check. Take extra care when enabling this feature if you don't yet have correct stock quantities in Deer inventory, but you do currently have them correct in Shopify, as Deer will override those quantities. If you'd like to enable back orders or pre orders, be sure to enable the Allow users to purchase an item even if it's no longer in stock. In this case, once selected, Deer will generate the back order as it's raised in Shopify. Create fulfillment in Shopify, even if tracking number is not available, can be used if you do not use a fulfillment service, as this will mean that Shopify customers can still be notified via Shopify that their order has been shipped once marked as such in Deer all without the need for specific order tracking information. You can also allow Deer to create Shopify products when Deer product names are not unique or missing. Disable the bring discount codes from Shopify if you want to ensure your product listing is not inundated with products for your discount codes. Adding the company to the address enables you to ensure that entered company information in the Shopify shipping details is loaded into Deer and ensures business shipping information can be best managed. 
Selecting a location for your Shopify sales will limit the availability of stock in the Shopify store to that location. The default option, All Locations, will display consolidated stock quantities across all of your locations. Choose a gift card liability and optional revenue account as needed, and select a sales representative name to associate all Shopify sales against. You can then specify if you wish a discount to be loaded as an additional charge to the sales order, or simply reducing the product line prices. Occasionally, during order synchronization from Shopify, some sales are not created within Deer. The order retrial sales order sync function retries the sales order sync at midnight to ensure all sales created in Shopify are also created in Deer on a daily basis. Any errors or failure to load sales through the order retry functionality will be captured in the operation logs found within the sale. Sales orders which fail to load will also generate an internal notification for Deer users containing sale order details and error information. In the next section of the setup screen, you'll need to map Shopify and Deer tax rules. For example, if you operate your store across different provinces and states that have various tax rates, you can map these specific tax rules to the tax rules within Deer. The same needs to be done for locations and payment methods. Link all Shopify locations to Deer locations and all available Shopify payments to their Deer payment accounts. Then, click Save. If your tax rule and payment mappings are left incomplete, you'll not be able to process Shopify orders and they'll be stuck in the Pending Orders tab until you've completed tax rule and payment method mapping. When you disconnect from a Shopify store, D removes all association between Deer objects and Shopify, including log and product catalog. After completing the required information in the Setup tab, you can move to the Catalog tab. The Deer Shopify Catalog page allows users to download products from Shopify, list a Deer product in Shopify, break the link between a Deer product and its Shopify listing, allow backorder of a product, and update quantities in Shopify according to Deer available stock. Products can be loaded from Shopify to Deer in the Catalog tab by selecting Download, Products. The Catalog list displays the product name, price tiers, back order status, available stock quantities, as well as the Shopify listing status. To list a particular product to Shopify, select the product from the list. Then, select the price tier, choose a Shopify location to map the product to, allow back order if required, and select List on Shopify. Mapping a product to a location will ensure that stock levels are correctly updated for that location. If there is no mapping between Shopify locations and Deer locations, Shopify location will be mapped to stock from all Deer locations. You can also remove a product from Shopify by simply selecting a list of product and clicking Remove from Shopify. Here, you can also update the price tier, location mapping, backorder allowance, and update the Shopify product with details since added in Deer. You're also able to unlink the product, which doesn't remove it from Shopify but disassociates it from the Deer product. You're also able to download customers from Shopify to Deer by selecting Download. Customers. If a customer already exists in Deer, this function updates any details that have been changed in Shopify. As Deer automatically creates customers when processing sales orders, this function is generally only used for testing purposes. The customer is created in Deer with contact, billing, and business address captured from Shopify. Note that customers cannot be uploaded from Deer to Shopify. To manually force an update of stock levels in Shopify for your products, select Update quantities in Shopify. You're also able to perform bulk listings of products by navigating to the Bulk Listings tab. Here, you're able to filter your product list by either selecting a category, brand, product family, or products with a particular tag. Then, select the price tier that you'd like to list these products as. You're also able to filter the list by listing status if you only wish to focus on products not yet listed to Shopify, as well as copy a product listing from another sales channel such as your B2B portal. Then, select the listing location and backorder allowance before selecting List. Note, it's best not to use the bulk listing feature if you're only updating stock levels in Shopify. Since bulk listing updates other information from Deer to Shopify aside from the product quantity, it may take longer than necessary. It's best to do this from the Catalog tab as shown earlier. The Pending Orders tab displays any current orders that have been placed on your Shopify store. And if no consolidation option is selected, the pending orders are converted automatically into actual sales tasks. You may also trigger sales task creation at any time manually by selecting the Process button. 
If consolidation is enabled, then orders will sit in pending until they're consolidated at the specific time selected. When a Shopify order is cancelled or deleted, it automatically finds and voids the corresponding sales task if created, or removes an associated pending order if the order has not yet been processed. When processing orders, the logic is identical to that of the DUI, triggering any drop shipment or any auto assembly options as normal. You can also load historical orders into Deer Inventory by selecting Load Orders. Then, specifying the date range from which you'd like to load. Then, select Load from Shopify. Once the process is complete, a dialog box will pop up and give you the summary of loaded information. Next, we have the Logs tab. Here, you can view all past sales from Shopify, as well as search for specific orders by using the search box here or the Order Status filter to the right. Each captured Shopify order once saved to pending orders creates a log entry to track the link between the sale in Deer and in Shopify. This eliminates the possibility of creating duplicate order records when capturing the same order several times during manual order loads. And lastly, we have the operations log. Here you can see the order trail of what changes have occurred and which user initiated those changes. It also contains information about the results of downloading, including the counter process, skipped or cancelled orders. With all your settings created and saved, any orders generated with Shopify will be loaded into your sales list as normal, based on your preferences set for invoice and pick, pack and ship automation. If you're fulfilling your Shopify orders from within Deer or an integrated Deer fulfillment application, you can do so as you would for a normal sale. And that concludes this video on the Shopify integration.